Okay. Last but not least is the one game we have not played yet, and that's Blooper Barrage. Blooper Barrage. Blast Blooper with your cannon. Make sure you shoot down any urchins that come flying your way. Now, like in the Cheap Cheap Battle, or the, or actually no, it's called Cheap Cheap Shot. Uh, I'm not sure if I have played this one. I want to say I did, but I don't remember, so if I did play this game, I'm sorry, but I don't remember at this time. At least not at the time that I'm recording this, so... Well, in any event, let's look at the uh, rules. Or actually, I already read the rules, I meant the controls. Hold the Wiimote vertically. It's more of a point-and-click type of thing with the A button. Very simple. Start. You know, when I look at Blooper, I think about one dish that comes to mind, and that was, uh... What's it called? It's called Fruta de Mar. It's kind of like a, uh, a seafood dish. And it's basically a seafood pasta. And blooper kind of reminds me of the calamari and the, the little squid that comes with the order of fruta de mar. Oh, I got hit. I'm not sure what determines how often he throws at certain individuals, but either way, um, and of course he tends to... And, and also, wait, did I get him? Oh, I got him! Finish. But did I win? Well, in any event, he's seafood. And wow, I won. Thanks to the final attack, I won. Unbelievable. Well, that's a good way to uh, end replay. Uh, let me just exit out of here, and... I have to say, wow, I did pretty well for myself, especially on free play. Uh, but as I said before, I'm going to introduce every single one of these videos individually, because if I was to try to put all of this all in one video, it probably may not be a good idea, especially considering it's almost 50 minutes of uh, footage that I would have to put in there. But I'm just going to go back to the main menu. Okay, well, as I said, solo mode I'm not going to do because it's more or less the same thing as party mode, except it's a story mode. Uh, museum? I could show that off. I might show that off on the next episode, uh, whenever I get a chance to, and... Uh, and then extras, I'll close out the LP with it. Let me look at the extras very, very quickly. Uh, the ones I'm not gonna go, the one I'm not gonna go over is perspective mode because... Just, I'll just give you a little background as to what it is. Perspective mode is basically, you play 10 games, but you play it via a first person mode from a first person point of view. That being said, I am not going to play it, unless there is, you know, unless there is significant demand. Like, if, if I get enough people that want it, like, maybe, maybe five at the least, if five people want to see it, leave a comment, and, I, and I'll consider it. I mean, I will consider your comment, but I, there needs to be at least five people that want to see perspective mode. Otherwise, I'm not going to do it. I'm just saying. But the other ones I'll do. Uh, but next time we're going to look at the museum. I'm just giving you a little uh, taste of what to expect. But yeah, this is the museum and you'll see that on the next episode. Next time on Let's Play Mario Party 9. This is Tiju22 signing off. Have a good day everybody.